Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you've ever wondered how to find the best interests to target you with your Facebook ads, that's what we're going to be covering today. But I'm not only going to be showing you how to find good interests. I'm going to show you how to find hidden interests that do not come up in the Facebook suggestion box when you type in your interest in the detailed targeting section of your ad sets. I'm going to show you how to use the Facebook API to look through all the interests that are actually available and not only the ones that Facebook shows you. This is going to allow you to target not only the interests that your competitors are using because everyone is using the suggestions box and just the interests list that Facebook shows you, but you'll be able to go deeper than that and find interests that are not normally available there. This is a big one, guys. I hope you're excited. Let's get straight into it. Before we get into the video, I would just like to invite you guys, if you're around Frankfurt by the 13th and 14th of October this month, I'm going to be speaking at the White Label Expo, which is going to be all about finding and sourcing the best products for your business and how to grow your business. There's going to be a lot of people there that are going to be talking about the best strategies to grow your business and to find the right products. I'm going to be speaking on the 13th of October at 11 a.m. at the Frankfurt Mess in Frankfurt. So if you're around, make sure to stop by and say hello. I'm probably also going to be doing a meetup in Frankfurt around the 13th or 14th of October. So make sure to follow me on my Instagram. It's in the description in every video and I'll be announcing the meetup there very soon. Okay, so we're in the ads manager here and I'm gonna show you how you can find the best interest to target for your products. So let's imagine that we have a beauty product. We would type in here like beauty, right? We type beauty and then Facebook shows us this list of interests here. And this is the thing that we want to go over, right? Because most people are going to be doing this. They type in the interest and then they find whatever they think is more fitting for their product. But this list is actually limited. There are things that you can target that are not visible here and will only be accessible if you type the direct name there. This is what I'm going to show you guys. So how can you see the interests that Facebook doesn't show anyone and in this way target things that your competitors may not be able to see. So we're going to be using the Facebook graph, which is an API that's available to anyone. And this API is going to allow us to access the list of interests that are related to any specific keyword and can be used as a targeting interest in Facebook ads. What we're going to need is we're going to need this link here. I'm going to put this link in the description. Now I just want to quickly explain what this link here is. This is the link that we use to access the Facebook API. That's going to show us the interest list. This is the keyword for the interest that we want to search. And this is the number of interests that we want to pull from Facebook. And then what we're going to need is an API access token from Facebook to be able to access the list and see uh, the hidden interests that we want to see. Because of this, in order to access the list, we need to have a Facebook API access token. So I'm going to show you guys how to get one. So you go into your business manager and you need to go to the menu and then go into apps. We need an app to generate the token. So if you have no app, you're just going to have a button here that says create app and you can just click the button. I've already created an app. So I have this app here, one, two, three. And when you create the app, that's all you need to do. And then you need to use the access token from the app to access your um, Facebook graph API. Now, to be able to find the access API for the graph, you need to go to the Facebook graph API Explorer. This is right here. I'm going to also leave this link in the description so it's easier for you guys to follow along. And once you're here, you just need to select the app that you want, select user token, and then generate access token. And then Facebook is gonna generate this access token here for you. So once you have your access token, you all you need to do is copy the access token and paste it in your um, Facebook Graph API link. So where it says access token, this is my access token right here. I've already pasted it. You just paste it here and your link is ready to show you the list of interests, um, the list of hidden interests that you're not able to see on the detailed targeting section of the Facebook Ads Manager. So once you've done this, all you need to do is select the interest that you want to see. So the keyword right here, for example, I'm using beauty. Bear in mind, guys, one thing. If you want to use a space, don't do a space, do plus. So let's say, you know, beauty 
accessories. If you wanted to do beauty accessories, you would do beauty plus accessories and not beauty space accessories. So that's how you space the keywords uh, to use the hidden interest tool. Let's say we just want to go with beauty for now though. So I'm just going to copy this link and I'm going to go in my browser and I'm going to go and paste the link here. And here we are. So these are a hundred interests. Remember a hundred because we chose a hundred. Sometimes there's even more available. And if you put 1000, you'll get 1000. And this is how you get all of these interests. They are not usually available through Facebook. So let's um, just so you can have an idea. Let's see something like um, let's scroll through here. If you can see here, you know, it has the name of the interest, the audience size and the associated categories to this particular interest. So everything that's related to beauty, that's what Facebook is showing us. Let's say, for example, this one here, Wong Nai Beauty, All right? Let's say this one. I'm pretty sure that if we go on, where is my ads manager? There it is. If we go on my ads manager and I type beauty, I am not going to get that interest showing up in here. It's not here. So. The only way that I'm going to be able to know that it exists is by doing this method to show the Facebook hidden interests. It's not showing on the suggestions. The only way that I can do it is if I type it in directly. So it was Wong Nai Beauty. There it is. If I type it directly, it shows up. 3 million audience size. Does it match? Exactly. 3 million audience size. So this is how you can find a list of hidden interests that Facebook doesn't show you or your competitors. So by using this method, you can find interests that no one else is able to see. I can keep going and I'll show you what I mean here. There's a lot of useful interests that do not usually show up on the list. So, you know, cult beauty, um, a lot of brands that can be like lower key brands in your niche. But, you know, sometimes these are the ones with the most passionate audiences. So these are actually the best ones to target as opposed to like big ones. Um, and they don't show up in the, the suggestions box. So with this method, you can find targeting options that your competitors cannot find unless they directly search for it, unless they know it beforehand. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is certainly a very useful tool to have under your belt, because if you're going into very competitive niches with this method, you can find micro interests within your niche that are going to be a lot less competitive and are going to give you a lot lower CPMs. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified every time that there is a new upload and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.